Hi everyone, I'm mid-session, canal carping in France. I'm chasing an absolute ginormodon. I have seen it a lot in the last few days, um, but they stock these little stockies, I call them sticks, but you know, they're driving me mad. Um, they're costing me originals, I've had 14 now. Um, and only four or five are originals up to 30 pounds. So you get a rig in with an original about, and these are about, and they're like on it straight away. And it's just, then you have to go hunting them again. So I want to get this one back and get back on the hunt again. As you can see, the water is awesome. So gin clear. So we've got sun today, which will make finding them relatively easy. But trust me, they are elusive, very elusive. Come on, Elliot, let's go and find them. I want to go, mate, because it, it seems to be days is the best time. And it's like basically right now and I should be already on them. Right, I'm going to bait up. I want to hold these little ones here, but there is originals coming as well. Um, it's a like a double-edged sword really um i can't not bait up because i want to be able to come back to this in a few hours and when i get back the originals the ones i want could be down here but i'm trying to hold these little ones as well right. I bet you, like last night, um, when I come here, there was quite a few originals about. I just, when I know I can catch them up there as well, I just don't want to waste time. And even though this has taken an hour before we can move, this time yesterday and the day before, this is when I was catching them. So I'm really sort of anxious to move but I don't want to compromise in any way, so I need to make sure everything's ready because if I come back here and I spook them or they don't turn up, they might turn up here because the last place I saw a big one, which was probably her, was just over there yesterday evening. Sorted. I just see about three or four going near it. Come on, let's go and find some proper ones. You're gonna pull in after me, yeah? Do you understand? Elliot, so. not behind me. Don't put my number plate in. Right, let's go. That's an original. Look at the water, look, it's all tinged up. Sometimes, you know where the shelf is, they'll be like, the big ones will be feeding right there. I had that. It's got them scales. It was swimming with a big one 20 minutes after I caught it up here. They're better ones. Yeah. They? yeah. Big and mate. What's the one at the back look? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking at it. Really I'm just looking How at did it. we miss that walking up? That's a good fish at the back, isn't it? Yeah. That's her. Look at her. It's look, it's her, mate. Yeah, it's her. It's her. Oh, fuck off. It's her, mate. Look at it. I'm not going to lie. I was feeling despondent because I couldn't really find any decent big ones. And the last 40 yards I copped out and Elliot found them. I'm not going to lie. Because if I, do, if I do catch her from this, he'll be like, 
I found him, no, you wouldn't have found him. But she wasn't here, it was only sticks then. But how did we miss her walking up? Because we didn't see her, did we? And that's what does my head in. How close have I been all the time? And you see there, what? Hey, look, 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 look. They're going to put the head down now. Look, they're feeding there. She's coming back, look. I need to get my fucking van, mate. All of this looking at them, it is good, but you ain't going to catch them doing this. Oh, mate. Oh, God. She's got white lip just come out, mate. Like half her lip's white. I can tell by her tail. But I need to go and get my van. And it's what? Kilometre away? One thing I will say, when I see her here the other day, she only come in once with them. And that's two times. So I need to get sorted. I just want to watch her go. One more time. There she goes. Look at her. Oh, mate. See the two-tone bit behind her head? I've got a fish up here tonight, ain't I? That means that's been eating. I'm going to give it five, ten minutes, just see if it comes back again. But where the f did that come from? That's a different one, isn't it? Mate, look, I ain't got the white bit. That's a different one. That's the bigger one, I thought, with a fat belly. Three or four coming up. Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right, they're ready to go. I'm just going to redo them. Um, reuse them. Ha oh. ha. It's really hot here. Um, even though I've seen it, I've been doom and glooming for a couple of days. And what that means is I've had enough of pasty bashing. Um, I need to blank in style, so I'm going somewhere else, somewhere special. Should have gone there last night, um, and I should have give, told Elliot to have gone there this morning. There's only so many pasties you can catch, and we need to smash some time. Only about 90 minutes and then we'll be looking at a new adventure. A week, six days, yeah, six days is plenty. Although when I arrived at the canal, I kind of had it in my head that we'd probably be there for the duration of my time <coughs> with you. That wasn't the case, we ended up going elsewhere. Before we move on to somewhere totally different, can you just kind of sum up what had happened in the few days before I arrived and ultimately why you decided to leave even though you were catching carp? Well, for starters, in them five days, I'd caught 14 or 15, what I can remember, stockies. One of those stockies, 20 minutes later, was with the big one. So, and I looked at the others with Elliot and said, you see all them other ones? I probably caught most of them. So it was time to, okay, I had four originals up to 30 pounds it was time to go you know i really wanted to catch that one i've gained loads of information and sometimes it's just you have to move on you know a new adventure gives you new just new targets new feelings that's her look at her look it's her mate it's her it's her Although when I arrived at the canal, I kind of had it in my head that we'd probably be there for the duration of my time with you. Can you just kind of sum up what had happened in the few days before I arrived and ultimately why you decided to leave even though you were catching carp? 
I found them, not big ones, but carp. Finally, we got one on. Of course, they're doing a lot of head shaking. Okay, I had four originals, up to 30 pounds. It was time to go. You know, I really wanted to catch that one. Camping don't catch, really long term. But looking, watching, and planning your next move does. Can't believe how f***ing cold it is here, mate. Location, I don't give a shit what anyone says, is paramount. If they ain't there, you're not gonna catch them. So if you get an inkling to where they could be, or where they are, let's say, that's your first move. 